So next up we are going to discuss literals. So what are literals? If you see on your screen, I have written the definition of literals. Literals are nothing but values assigned to a variable. So if there is a statement a is equal to 2, over here you can easily see a is a variable name, equal to is an operator, it's called the assignment operator. So 2 over here, the value that we are providing to the variable is literal. Okay. And uh, the reason why I'm teaching this, why I have included this in this video, it's because there are multiple ways using which you can set literal values. Okay. I'll show you some examples. So there is one uh, example right on your screen where I have written a is equal to 2. Uh, that is a very simple example of setting up a literal uh, with a decimal value. So if you print a, you should see right it's normal the second way of setting a literal is uh, by typing something like this a is equal to 0 b uh, let's say 0 1 0 0 any guesses what would be printed if I'll uh, print a now in the second step if I print a now the answer would be 4 the reason is that 100 actually 0100 is a binary pattern of 4. So once you set this 0b before a number, you are telling Python that we are setting this variable with a literal value that is in binary. Okay, so I hope this point is clear. Similarly, you can also set octal values by using this syntax a is equal to 0x0000. And now if you try to print A, uh, it's 0, okay? So I hope this point is clear. There is one more way of setting a literal. Uh, we can write A is equal to 1.2 E3. Any guesses what will be printed if I will print A? Uh, the answer is 12,000, actually 1200. Uh, because this notation is the exponential notation where you have written 1.2 multiplied by 10 to the power 3. Okay. Similarly, you can write uh, a is equal to 1.2 e minus 3, which is a short form of 1.2 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3. Hence, the answer should be 0.0012. I hope you are getting the idea. So, literals are just values given to a variable and there are multiple ways using which you can set values. Uh, if you are talking about strings, you can set a string with both uh, single inverted commas as well as double inverted commas. In fact, we will study this when we do strings that you can also use triple inverted commas and Python will not throw an error. Okay. So again, there are multiple ways of setting string literals. Okay. There is one special literal that I would like to talk about. It's called the none literal. Let me show you. What you can do in Python is you can set a value of none to a variable. Okay. Any guesses what would be printed if I print, if I try to print x. The answer is none. Okay. None is quite equivalent to null in C. Okay, it's very similar. Uh, both have the same meaning. It basically means nothing, nothing, not even zero, nothing. Okay, so why do you think uh, programmers will use none? What do you think is the reason? Why will anyone use none? Okay, the reason is uh, because there might be certain scenarios while programming in some company that you're working with a team and uh, there is a need for a variable in your program. Right now, you don't know what will be the value for that variable, but you just need to, you know, you, you want it to add to your, add it to your program. Okay. Now, let's say if you try to write this, let's say the name of the variable is y. If you simply write y and if you run this code, Python will throw an error because Python doesn't know what is the value of y, right? And there is no arrangement in Python where you can just keep a variable by just declaring it because there are no variable declarations in Python. Okay. So obviously it would not work. So one simple way of initializing a variable in Python is by simply writing a none against it. 
and now it will not throw an error okay so many programmers use null to initialize variables in python you know to give an initial value which is nothing okay so i hope literals are clear uh, it's a small topic to be honest uh, but you should understand what literals are uh, so i think i have done enough and i think you are clear with that now let's move on to operators